Welcome to Carside Reviews. I'm Adam here with my buddy Chase. We just got out of Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker. We're going to tell you what we thought. We won't be giving anything away on this. I'll do some spoilery reviews later on my, my second channel, Adam Olinger. This is just more of an honest reaction to a movie we just saw. If you're in the same boat as Chase and I, where you like The Force Awakens, you were really put off by The Last Jedi, mm -hmm. I, I mean, I really liked it, and so did Chase, so yeah. you might be with us. If, however, you loved The Last Jedi and all the, the chances it supposedly took and all these <laughs> risks, you might hate this. I think for me personally, this is kind of like, it hits all the like specific points that it needs to be like a good Star Wars movie. So, I'd expand, say so expand, expand on that. Yeah. No, I think that, well, because obviously you have the fun lightsaber battles that you want to see. You have little nods to the originals and, like, to possible future things, too. Yeah. You know, I just I just think it's, it's it kind fun. Of just, yeah. It's, a, it's actually it's, a lot of fun. I was laughing quite a bit. It's more nostalgic than what you'd think, but not, like, too much either. Yeah, the, there's yeah. there's definitely on the nose moments yeah. like there was in the Force Awakens mm -hmm. for sure. I mean, yeah. Billy D. Williams is back. Is, Billy D. I mean, there's no reason for him to be in this other than to tip Lando. the hat one more time, That's it. right? Lando. <laughs> That's he it. Baby. Doesn't look like Lando. <laughs> he doesn't really <laughs> sound like him. It's so many years have passed. This this guy's totally different now. I think the Leia stuff, you know. I thought that was actually really good. Yeah. Visually, she looks great in it. I think mm. she she looks, sounds, acts like she's in these scenes, but just the dialogue itself kind of comes off a little bit stilted with with what's going on. You know, it's mm. not a it's not really yeah, a, a it's, conversation no. so much it is just a few words back and forth and then, you know, the scene ends. The big issue with the last movie wasn't how it looked or how it sounded or the presentation. That was all phenomenal. Yeah, it was perfect. Yeah. I think that it arguably has more beautiful shots than this new one does, mm -hmm. but I do think the you know, Rise of Skywalker looks great. JJ definitely has that style to him. It, it doesn't look like the last movie. There there's a different camera style, there's different shots that that have more of uh, JJ's mark on it, you know. It's a little bit more frantic. The camera's moving around a lot more. And I surprisingly didn't notice very many lens flares, though. I did not notice Which any that's lens like, flare. That, well, there's I lightning. There's, I think there's, there's lightning, so with lightning okay. comes flares. If you were disappointed with Finn and Poe in the last movie, like I was, then there's good news. They're much better in this one. If you weren't disappointed with them in the last movie, shame on you, because they were terribly written. This time around, we get those characters from the first film. They get a little bit of growth. There's a, a few slower scenes, pretty much for everyone, I think. That, yeah. This movie is running hot the whole time. I mean, the, there it is definitely exposition heavy, I'd mm. say, for a good chunk of it. Because mm. there's a lot of shit to clean up. But yeah, it's a lot of it is needed <laughs> just from the last movie. I do think that J.J. probably spent a lot of time on message boards or on Reddit or something looking at fan theories and, and complaints from not just the last movie or the movie before, but like the entire series as a whole. So because there's some really weird... Not retcons, but there's some weird, like, uh, look, I fixed this from A New Hope. <laughs> or I fixed this thing that bothered people for 40 years or whatever. Uh, unnecessary cleanups, I guess. Still still kind of fun, I guess, to see. How'd you feel about the lightsaber battles? Because there they, were a few. Yeah, yeah, no, I thought that they're definitely a step up from The Force Awakens. Yeah. I don't, in The Force Awakens to me, which well, I you mean, only really had, what was there, one in The Force Awakens? This one, it's just... It's wild how just vastly different they are. It's it's awesome. I thought yeah. the the lightsaber battles were sweet. There, yeah. There's some there's some cool moves going on. There's some jumping all over the place. There's some throwing mm -hmm. of the saber. Nothing though, completely outlandish. And when things do get nuts, it is actually explained. There there is a, a background to characters. There's mysteries that get solved. JJ, known for his mystery boxes, sets up a lot of things. He set up Lost, didn't have to answer for any of that nonsense later on. He set up the Star Trek films and then walked away from that. He set up Star Wars and then walked away. And so I was very interested to see how he closed this thing out. And I think he did a commendable job. Yeah, he, I think he definitely just, he aced it how he did it. Yeah, I, you know, I, mean, I don't, I don't see. To to me, I don't really see any like really big problems in this movie. The big problem is he had to make a second movie that didn't yeah. exist. He yeah. had to tell a story that wasn't there. So when we see these characters, <coughs> they're together again. They're on missions together, and they're reminiscing about all the hardships mm -hmm. they went through and everything they fought so hard for. 
but the last entire movie was them just slowly running away from the you know the yeah. the first order in space we didn't really get to see a lot of adventuring with them together here he's definitely taking some liberty he's saying th there's been time passed these guys have done a lot of stuff mm -hmm. they've had a lot of struggle so that's the bittersweet part for me I, I do think if he would have just taken this thing from beginning to end we would have maybe had the same conclusions but we would have had a vastly different middle and I think it would have made for a great uh, trilogy. Instead, we have a return to form with The Force Awakens. We have uh, Ryan Johnson's incredibly different take on the material. And then we have JJ coming back with a conflicting finale. So we have a hodgepodge of films, a first and third act that I think are that work together and mesh well with this bizarre middle child that's just throwing shit all over the walls. And then mom and dad have to come home and clean it back up. There's, there's a lot of people that don't necessarily like this movie right now. Are there? Just, it seems like it. I mean, all I saw was a percentage. Is that like 50%? No, is that like 56? Okay, on, and on that's that's just the Rotten Tomatoes yeah. critic aggregate? Yeah. That doesn't surprise me because 90, uh, what, The Last Jedi is at 90%, I think, on Rotten Tomatoes. It's Gross. one of the highest ranked Star Wars movies. So yeah, the, the critics that love that, like mm. I said, are a lot of them are going to hate this. And for good reason. That's the reason I love it. Oh, I would have been fine with another hour, to be honest. I think it could have used another hour, to be yeah, honest. Yeah, just for that, that first act, I think it could have gone a little bit longer. I think, I mean, it moves at a really good clip. There mm -hmm. isn't any downtime, really, where I'm no. like, okay, let's move on from this. I, I was enjoying myself from beginning to end, but I think another movie, even, if we did a forlogy... I'd be fine we with We can't now, but if we, no. if we would have taken another film before we got to where we're at i think that really could have fleshed these characters out brought them back to the, the people we knew from the first one mm -hmm. gave us more insight to finn's backstory as a stormtrooper mm -hmm. gave us a little bit more about poe's background and, and really just got the camaraderie of this teamwork this dynamic that we missed a lot of in the last mm -hmm. jedi small gripe but the trailers had duel of fates playing <laughs> Which is, you know, an homage to yeah. the, the prequels. To Darth Maul. Which is, the I think, one of the best songs in the Star Wars franchise. As yeah. much as I don't like the prequels, that song is fantastic. I don't think it was was played, was it, in the, no, in the movie? No, not once. Well, that's kind of crap. Because yeah. I was honestly looking forward to that song being played. I didn't see Darth Maul down in, like, the Sith area. Just, like, with this... this I would have loved... I would have loved... I, would have loved, I really been, wanted J.J. to just go completely just go nuts on. with it. Have have Darth Maul there fighting Kylo have or Darth fighting Rey. But or something. Yeah, just just go nuts. At this point, who cares? I joked about that on, on Twitter last week. I said they should have Rey, like force bowl Yoda into a bunch of stormtroopers <laughs> and just just be stupid with it as it stands it's you know if you're looking for a, another subversion of expectations you're going to be disappointed this is pretty much exactly how you expect it to play out and I don't know as a Star Wars fan why you would want anything other than that these movies are not they end cookie cutter I'm sorry but Empire you know did some twists but at the end of the day, the heroes win. Everything's great. There's always a party. There's always there's always cheering and celebration. And there's usually someone looking off into a couple planets or a couple suns. Is it worth the trip for you? Was this a movie you would recommend people go out and see? Would you stream it at home? Do you think it's a wreck? Obviously you don't. But No, absolutely. Yeah, I'd 100% see it again. I'd see it more than once. This is a theater movie for me, too. Mm -hmm. I cannot wait to take my family to it, especially my son Connor, who really likes... The original trilogy, he loves Force Awakens. He could not, he barely got through The Last Jedi, but he hated every moment of it. And that's not me. That was not my fault. I didn't corrupt him or anything. My daughter could not get through The Last Jedi. She got ticked. And uh, yeah, so, but she wants to see this. She still wants to, you know, just like everybody else, we, we, we love and hate Star Wars in tandem. It's, it's, a, it's a really messy, bad relationship. It's a marriage story. Sorry, and Kylo Ren. Yeah, go out and see this. It's, it's worth the trip. I don't have anything else to add right now, so let us know in the comments what you thought about the film. If you absolutely hated it, if you thought it was everything you, you possibly imagined it could be. And yeah, let's keep it spoiler-free down there too, because this movie just came out for us, uh, yeah. us common peasants. <laughs> and if you like our commentary, feel free to subscribe, like. There's other stuff here. I, pro I promise you may not be disappointed. <laughs> we'll see you next time in the car.